Okay, the TV I just got done repairing is a Vizio. There's a the model number. Now it appeared that this power supply also crosses over to the JVC. At least it looked identical when I went online, and that was the number for the JVC. And there was a power supply board number. Well, this TV came in here dead. And the first thing I did, of course, was check the input fuse. Sometimes you get lucky and you find something simple like an input fuse, but it's pretty rare. And the uh, next thing I checked was my output on my power supply. And I noticed I didn't have any standby voltage, and <clears throat> they list right here which terminals are which and where you should have your 5-volt standby power, and uh, didn't have it. So 99% of the time that's going to mean you've got a, uh, a power supply problem. So, being that I've had some experience with similar power supplies, I, re I remembered uh, they had a fuse embedded in this particular model, or one like it, that didn't look like a fuse. It looked more like a, a resistor, a high wattage resistor. had a couple wires at the bottom, and right away I found one. It was over here. I uh, have a slow blow conventional fuse in there right now. I just soldered some wires on. But, uh, yeah, the resistor was open. It was a 4 amp fuse location number is F102 and uh, seeing that the fuse is bad I figured there's probably some bad semiconductors and I checked a few transistors and diodes and I noticed I had a couple bad transistors right here and it looked like these transistors are, are being used together so uh, both were replaced and the TV came on. Now I'm happy to say that uh, I was able to get away with just replacing these three components. Now a lot of times, as, as many of you know, when a transistor goes bad, you get what some would call the cascade effect. And that's where, you know, not only will the transistor go bad, but it'll take out a whole lot of components with it. And in fact, if you if you sort of backtrace the, uh, the driver for the transistor, or the output to the transistor, to the gate, you'll end up finding it goes back to a couple coils on the other side. And I, I checked the, uh, I think it was the diode in between there. Any, anyway, everything looked good. We had basically a duplicate on this side. Same thing over here is what you had over here. And everything checked good. And I was glad to see that because I really don't like it when you get a, uh, a power supply going out. And you've got all these little surface mounted components that go bad. And you can't identify what they are without a schematic. So it just takes more time to have to order schematic and all that. But both were driven, these were the driver transformers, it, it appears, to the uh, transistors. So I figured I'd give it a whirl and see if that fixed it. And sure enough, it did. So I'm glad. Anyway, the transistors that went bad, location number was Q706 and Q707. That would be these two here. And uh, the original number on the transistor was K, KF5N50, both were the same. <clears throat> I happen to have a DigiKey transistor here that I noticed had the same numbers within their part number, 5N50C, and uh, it appeared that it, it actually appeared to be slightly higher amperage, if I understood it correctly, at least that's what I got from the engineer talking to him. So uh, I use that transistor and it seems to be running good. Now uh, I always like to double check, see if the power supply is running excessively hot. I often take my laser scanner and scan the board and or take my fingers and see if anything's getting hot. And I notice these heat sinks here are getting hot. So are these ones, but that's normal for a lot of power supplies. So it doesn't necessarily mean there's a problem, but just to play it safe, I'm going to check the ESR on the capacitors, even though I don't see anything that looks bulged here. And I'm also going to check, you know, some of the diodes and whatnot. I, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything, so this guy doesn't bring this thing back to me and start screaming at me. Anyway, looks like we're looking pretty good here and uh, gonna let it run for well and uh, make sure. Anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up.